The playback engine dialog under Setup in the menu bar is where you choose which audio device will be used. Select the device you'd like to use from Device Playback Engine. If the device you want to use is not in the drop down menu, ensure the device is connected, powered, and drivers installed. When you change the playback engine, the current session will need to be closed and reopened. And depending on the playback engine, you may also be prompted to restart Pro Tools. The hardware buffer size setting determines the amount of time the CPU has to process audio. The higher the number, the more processing time available, but this also increases the latency or delay between audio input to output for live inputs. This should be set as low as possible without frequent playback errors. For versions of Pro Tools that support video, you can enable the video engine. In optimizations, by clicking the question mark, you'll be taken to a web page which describes the settings in detail. This cache offers better performance than hard drives by copying audio media to the computer's RAM. However, that assigned RAM will also no longer be available for other functions. In Disk Playback is where you set the cache size that sets how much of your RAM is made available to temporarily store your session's audio files.